Hi, my name is Troy. I'm a long COVID patient turned researcher. I'm making some short science videos with a smidge or tidbit of the science related to low dose transdermal nicotine patches as a therapeutic in many diseases. Let's go. The original hypothesis from Dr. Marko Olitsky. Uh, his hypothesis is talking about how the SARS-CoV-2, especially the spike protein, uh, people know that it attaches to the ACE2 receptors, but this is not the only receptor that it attaches to. It also attaches to the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, right? The DNA in the spike uh, has a lot of affinity to the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, right? So this is different than the ACE2 receptors. These receptors are the principal part of our parasympathetic neuromodulation in our bodies. So if these receptors are being blocked by the spike protein, then the only solution is to uh, unblock it. Right? So the way that nicotine does this is because nicotine has a 30-fold higher affinity to the nicotinic receptors than even our own acetylcholine in our body. Okay, so we naturally make acetylcholine, which attaches to the nicotinic receptors, which is how the system normally works naturally. But uh, when we add in nicotine, it attaches so strongly that it's going to kick out any spike or other viral debris which are lodged into that receptor. So there's some graphics that are in his paper, which I'm going to go through very quickly, which visually shows the same thing. All right, so um, here we can see that the virus is attaching to different nicotinic receptors of our body, all right? So on the different nerves, on the different cells around our body. And this means that one, the acetylcholine doesn't have a place to attach naturally. And also uh, information is not coming in or out of these, these very important receptors. So the next slide. Then you use nicotine from the nicotine patch, not smoking, not chewing gum, etc. So you're getting a constant dose of nicotine from the nicotine patch that's going into these receptors and kicking out or displacing the virus particle or viral debris or the spike or whatever is lodged there. And then uh, this enhances the neuromodulation within the nicotinic uh, receptors and the whole parasympathetic system. As these receptors are not being blocked and it's getting stimulation from the nicotine, then the body upregulates the amount of nicotinic receptors. So that means that the parasympathetic system has increased enhanced communication. And then as any viral debris is, is knocked out, then our natural antibodies that we have uh, from an infection or from some type of vaccine, etc., are going to just knock out the virus. And lastly, here we see that the everything is working nicely. Acetylcholine and nicotine can attach to these receptors and the viral debris, it goes out into the bloodstream and just disappears <laughs> because our body can get rid of it pretty easily, okay? So that is the basic hypothesis. So I told you this would be just a smidgen. There'll be a lot more little tidbits to come. Believe it or not, I'm human and I can make mistakes. And this smidge or tidbit of science is far from complete. Comment below with your suggestions or corrections. Let the conversation begin. We are stronger together. Take care of yourself. And if you can, take care of someone else too. See you soon.